from London, this is Q Live. Britain, get ready to play. Berry. It's September the 3rd, it's 1pm and in the news today, Chris Evans has announced he's leaving Radio 2 to join Virgin Radio. So, to celebrate, we are giving away £500. That will pay for a big breakfast or a cheeky holiday. Just don't forget your toothbrush. You know the deal by now. 12 questions, easy to hard. You'll have 10 seconds to tap each answer. If you get all 12 right, you'll win or you'll split the cash. Now, it's time to reveal today's Q superfans. It's Val and Steve. Look at them. Oh, there they are. They look like a lovely cute couple, don't they? Hello, Val and Steve. Now, if you would like to be tomorrow's Q superfan, then tweet us a photo of yourself playing Q live and tell us why you deserve to win. If you're picked, we'll give you an extra life. So, what are you waiting for? Tweet your photo right now using the hashtag QLive. And remember to include your username in your tweet. Without further ado, it's time for the game that stops the nation. Britain, get ready to play. Right, so almost 7,000 of you are ready to play, ready to possibly win that 500 pounds. Shall we get this started? Here's Q1. Chris Evans is in the news today. What show did he host? TFI Friday, TFI Wednesday or TFI Thursday? Chris Evans started his career as a T-boy for Timmy Mallet. Remember Timmy, Timmy Mallet? Uh, his nickname though was Nobby No Level. There you go, a bit of trivia there. Uh, TFI Friday is the answer. 6,000 of you knew the answer to Q1. Well done, you're through to Q2. In the 1998 film, A Bug's Life, what sort of insect is the lead character Flick? Bee, ant or beetle? Bug's Life made over $360 million at the box office and was the first film to make animated bloopers. The answer that we were looking for there was ants. 5,500 of you still in the game, well done. Here's Q3. In the British military organization, the RAF, what does the A stand for? Army, automobile or air? The RAF was founded in 1918 and it's now based in Whitehall, London. Uh, you know the RAF, but what does the A stand for? Well, it stands for air. 5,300 of you, well done, you're still in the game. It's Q4. Which of these is the name of a recent Childish Gambino single? This is America, this is it, or this is me? Gambino is worth over $12 million and played Lando Calrissian in the Han Solo movie. Do you know the answer? Well, the answer we're looking for is, this is America. 2,900 of you, well done. Right, if you got eliminated on that last question there, keep playing for points because you could be this week's Q Brainiac. The top scorer at the end of each week gets £150, so don't give up. The winner of last week's leaderboard is B-Pig. Congratulations, £150 on its way to you. Q5. It's Gareth Southgate's birthday today. For which club did he make the most appearances? Middlesbrough, Crystal Palace or Aston Villa? And when Gareth was in school, he actually played rugby and he was a triple jump county champion. He nearly actually didn't go into football at all. Lucky that he did. The answer, it's Aston Villa. Now, 1,300 of you, sports fans, you got that right. Shall we move straight on to Q6? Here it is. Which of these fashion brands has Tom Ford not worked for? Yves Saint Laurent, Prada or Gucci? Now, Tom has also directed two Oscar-nominated movies and he's written screenplays as well. He is multi-talented. I love Tom Ford fragrances, but they're so expensive, aren't they? Although, if you win the money today, the answer is uh, Prada. 800 of you still in the game at Q7. Recently in the news, England cricketer Ben Stokes plays for which county cricket club? Durham, Sussex or Lancashire? 
of Ben Stokes once injured his finger by angrily punching a locker. We've all been there, haven't we? Punching that locker. Ah, my finger. Oh, that, that locker. The answer is Durham. 600 of you still in the game. Now it's time to open the ever bulging Q Live mailbag. Who wants a shout out? Anyone? Yeah? Uh, hello to Gary and Jackie. Hello. Uh, shout out to Donna's son, Kyle, who's watching today. Hi to Chanel. And finally, big shout out to Sam Calvert, who celebrated their 16th birthday last week. I hope you had the best day and ate loads and loads of cake, because that's the best bit about a birthday. Uh, if you'd like a shout out, let us know on Twitter using the hashtag QLive. Let's get back to the game, Q8. Which product was the first to be advertised on UK television? Cigarettes, cereal, or toothpaste? Nicole Kidman starred in the most expensive advert ever, costing $33 million for Chanel No. 5. I did an advert for Channel 5 and I got nothing, nothing! <coughs> the answer is toothpaste. 497 of you are still in the game. Here's Q9. Which of these Dizzy Rascal albums was released first? Maths plus English, Showtime or Tongue in Cheek? Dizzy's real name is Dylan Mills and he was awarded an honorary degree by the University of East London. Are you a fan of Dizzy Rascal? I am actually, I think he's great. The answer is Showtime. 361 of you still very much in the game. Now, do not forget, if you love Q Live, we'll be back tonight at 8 p.m. with another 500 pounds up for grabs. But do you want to win 500 pounds right now? Right now? Of course you do. Here's Q10. Which of these Star Trek films was released most recently? The Search for Spock, The Voyage Home, or The Final Frontier? The first episode was aired all the way back in 1966. There have been over 125 Star Trek related video games made too. The Final Frontier is the answer we were looking for. 135 of you knew that. Congratulations, we are at the penultimate question now. Are you ready for it? Really ready? Here's Q11. Which of these models is the shortest in height? Cara Delevingne, Kendall Jenner, or Gigi Hadid? Now these three models have a combined age of 71, but who is the shortest of those three? Tricky one this. The answer, it's Cara Delevingne. She's five foot six. Not exactly short, is it? Uh, 34 of you. 34 of you have made it to the final question. You are just one correct answer away from that 500 pounds. Get ready. It's time for this. In which country is the westernmost point of mainland Britain? Scotland, Wales, England. This is for 500 pounds. Are you gonna take the whole lot home? Are you gonna split the money? Or are you gonna go out on this question? I hope it's not the latter. The answer we're looking for is Scotland. And I can tell you, we've got 16 winners. Congratulations to all of you. You'll be sharing that 500 pounds between you. Charlie Baker, the money maker, will be back tonight at 8 p.m. with another 500 pounds to win. Lovely to see him back. I've missed him. He's fresh from the Edinburgh Festival. That's all we've got time for. I've been Marina Berry and you've been extraordinary. Have a great day. Bye for now.